My name is Chris Kennedy, I'm a professor of civil engineering and I'm director of the new Cities and Engineering Management program at University of Toronto. This is a completely unique program. I don't believe there's anything else quite like it in the world. Uh, there may be others that come close, but it's the, that mixture of these core courses that, that, that handle and uh, teach students the, the, the complexity of cities and how to manage it combined with the, the in-depth technical speciality that they'll develop in areas like transportation, uh, security, environment, and others. And there's also uh, an internship as well. So this third term of it involves a practicum where students will go out, work with either cities or, or companies, uh, here, either here in Toronto or anywhere around the world, and bring that experience then back into the, for the last term of the course. The greatest thing about this program is the is a rich and wonderful experience of the professors. We've got people like Richard Stren, who's a professor emeritus in, in political science, uh, been doing work on developing world cities and re more recently Canadian cities uh, for decades, looking at the, the politics of how things work in cities. And he's an absolute expert in that. Second course in the programs can be taught by two instructors. One is uh, a, a guy called Neil Montgomery, and he's a uh, been a statistician working in mechanical engineering actually for many years uh, and as an expert in applying probability and statistics to engineering phenomena and he's going to be working with Patricia McCarney who is uh, head of the Global City Indicator Facility at University of Toronto. She's a uh, an urban planner by background but come, is working out of the architecture faculty now and has this uh, global cities database with about 300 cities worldwide contributing over 100 indicators per year. The third course is actually my own course. It's going to be based on my book, Evolution of Great World Cities. It's all about infrastructure and urban prosperity and explains how uh, the economics of cities and the, the, the quality of life in cities can be really traced back to their infrastructure systems. Uh, and it builds upon my sort of 10 or 15 years doing work on green cities and sustainable infrastructure. The fourth instructor is the uh, former director of the city centre, Eric Miller. And uh, Eric has been a transportation land use planner uh, in, in this city for decades. He developed the first transportation models that are still used by the city, advises cities around the world in their transportation planning. And he's, uh, he's wrestling with this evolving topic of cities as complex systems, as sort of a new science of city emerging. Which is very, about, very much about understanding sort of micro scale, small scale processes and seeing how they uh, how they add up to macro scale processes, how these things emerge, patterns emerge out of these micro scale processes. So he's teaching the fourth course, which is called Cities as Complex System. My name is Allison Morley, and I work in admissions and recruitment for the civil engineering department. So I do admissions for the MEng in Cities Engineering and Management. To apply to the program, you need a B plus average in your final two years of study. Um, if you're unsure of, of whether you have that, you can go to our website and there's a table of international degree equivalencies, so it'll tell you if you're eligible. Um, we also require that you have met the English uh, language facility requirement, which is common to all graduate studies at U of T. And again, you can go onto our website to look at those requirements. Uh, we also require for the city's MEng that you have a year of work experience. So um, you would have to have some sort of related work experience beyond just your um, bachelor degree. To find the full list of admission requirements, you can go to the civil engineering website and click on the city's MEng tab and you'll find all of the requirements there. We're hoping to keep the class size quite small so we can have a high professor, professor to student ratio and we're hoping to attract very high caliber of student so there will be it'll be a very stimulating environment that's why the admission requirements are a little bit higher for this program than for the regular MNG. The application each year will open up at the end of September and applications will be due sometime in April. The application deadline will probably vary a bit each year um, so you should aim to have everything in by April 1st. If you're interested in cities, you want to know how they work and you want to make them better, then this is the program for you.